Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Chances are you clicked on this video because you are planning on getting a cat. So I just want to give you a list of things you should consider buying before bringing your cat home along with some information that might be beneficial to you. So here is my cat who does not like to be held so I'm gonna put him down. This is my cat Luntik. I have had him for about two years now. He is a domestic short hair, which is a very common breed. He is a mixed breed as opposed to a pure breed, which means that he is more in tune with his wild roots. Domestic cats are felines and are in the Felidae family, being part of 37 other cat species, including cheetahs, lions, and tigers. Pet cats have been proven to lower blood pressure and stress hormone levels, so they are sure to calm you down and put you in a good mood. So before I give you the shopping list of things you're going to need, I'm just going to tell you two things that you should take into consideration before getting a cat. So number one, just remember that it is not recommended to get a kitten that is under six weeks of age because the cat will experience more stress due to the separation from their mother and siblings and they also will not have a chance to develop proper feline social skills. So that means that when they will be playing, they will not know how much aggression is acceptable in terms of biting and clawing. And as well as a kitten who is underage needs a lot of care, so they need to be kept in warmth and bottle fed a formula every two to four hours, which is a lot of responsibility, but it is possible I will leave a guide in the description telling you how to properly take care of an underage kitten but if you do have a chance make sure that you adopt a cat that is older than six weeks of age. And the next thing that you should probably focus on is making sure that you or anyone in your household does not have any cat allergies because people with cat allergies experience symptoms such as sneezing, watery eyes and runny nose when being exposed to cats. So this does not mean that you cannot get a cat, just make sure that you get a hypoallergenic cat breed option, such as a Balinese, Javanese or Devon Rex cat. And again, there will be a link in the description of a list of hypoallergenic cat breeds. And the third thing that I'd like to point out is that you want to make sure that the space you're living in, the space that you're bringing your cat into is going to be safe. So just make sure that there aren't any sharp objects laying around, make sure that there aren't any highly toxic plants for your cat and etc. So now moving on to the fun part, I will give you a list of things you should have ready or purchase before bringing your cat home. So number one, you will probably be needing a pet carrier. One that I have is just this basic pet carrier. This is one of the simple designs. This pet carrier is probably very common in pet stores and based off of prior experience, I would recommend because it works very well. The main reason why you want to get a pet carrier is because you want to have something to safely transport your cat in because car rides can get bumpy which creates a stressful and even dangerous experience for your cat because imagine your car just rapidly stopping and your cat is not exactly held in a secure position so your cat will fly across the car which is terrible so yes please get a cat carrier and as i showed you there are pretty basic simple designs and affordable options but there are luxurious options as well so choose whatever suits you. The second thing that you're gonna need is a cat bed because your cat will obviously need sleep and you want to make sure that your cat has a comfortable place to privately rest in whenever they feel like they need a break. And this is especially important when you first bring your cat home. Most likely they're gonna be pretty overwhelmed with the new space and they will want to go somewhere to just hide away until they're ready to come out again. And make sure that the cat bed that you're getting has a roof or covering around it. 
I'm just quickly gonna show the one that I have. It has this like private covering and these are the ones that I recommend getting. And also, just to save money, try to get a bed that is already built for a large cat so that when you have a kitten and it grows up, you will need to get it a second larger bed. Moving on to number three, you are going to need food and water bowls for your cat. And the thing is, cats are pretty territorial with their food, so you don't want them to be sharing their bowls with anyone. So just get them their own separate bowls that they can have. And when you are choosing a cat bowl, look out for the material that it is made of. You want to aim for getting either stainless steel, glass, or ceramic bowls for your cat. And you want to avoid getting plastic. Plastic stores germs very easily and the BPA in most plastic material can also cause cancers and diseases in cats as well as giving them rashes like feline acne. These are the bowls that I have for my cat and see one of them is for water, one of them is for the food. Now number four, let's move on to your cat's nutrition. Obviously the food that you're going to choose for your cat will depend on your budget and what is accessible to you but you want to focus and aim on feeding your cat a balanced diet of natural ingredients so food that is high in protein and fat and low in grains the two cat food brands that i can recommend from my own personal experience would be natural balance and only natural pet if you are going to feed your cat dry food like I personally do, then that is totally fine. But just make sure that they are getting enough liquids, drinking enough water, maybe encourage them to drink some water every once in a while, or feed them some wet food from time to time, and otherwise your cat should be good. Moving on to number five, obviously after your cat has eaten, it will want to use the washroom, so that is when you should have a litter box. And if you don't know what a litter box is, it's basically just a tray filled with cat litter, and cat litter very closely resembles sand. So all that happens is your cat uses it and it will dig up everything and you just have to scoop it out and throw it out. It's very simple and litter boxes are not usually that expensive unless you get a self-cleaning litter box. In those cases it's a little bit on the pricey side. And regarding cat litter, the cat litter that I use is called Arm & Hammer. It's a very popular brand. Now moving on to number six, this is involving cat care. One of the things that you're gonna need is a cat fur brush. So you've probably heard of cats getting fur balls, which is because cats cleanse themselves so they lick their own fur and sometimes the loose hairs kind of clump up in their throat and then they kind of have to cough to get them out. The thing is, you can do something about this. You can minimize the amount of hairballs they get by brushing them. And how often you brush them will depend on how long your cat's fur is. So if your cat has long fur, then you want to probably brush them daily or at least every other day. But if you have a cat that has short hair, just like mine, then just brushing them weekly should do the job. Now moving on to number seven. So you want to take care of your cat's claws. There are two ways you can do this. You can either get a cat scratching post so they will kind of file down their claws themselves and this is also a good exercise for them to keep their limbs healthy. But another thing that you can do is get a cat nail trimmer. It's very much like human nail scissors except it has this little hole and that's for your cat's claw to go into and you can get them basically at any pet store but I would like to warn you that when you're trimming your cat's claws just don't go too deep only trim the tip of their claw because the bottom part is actually kind of like their skin so it's gonna hurt them a lot and number eight last but not least you want to get some toys for your cat to play with so this can be like cat lasers or teasers or you can even make them some handmade toys 
because it will be loads of fun for your cat to play with and you will also be encouraging them to get some exercise as well which is really good for their health. So that brings this video to an end. I hope you enjoyed and I hope the information that I shared with you was helpful. If so, then please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. If you have any more questions, then please leave them in the comment section and I will either answer them there or address them in another video. And I send all my best wishes to you and your new cat and I am so excited to see you next time.